Parker. Part of me really wants to 2x her. Late, maybe not too much. We'll see. I do this, and then next turn we go hit monkey plus three one drops, yeah? I'm going to play four cards, so I'm going up to... I'm going up to a little bit over here regardless. 14, I'm plus one on them. The question is, do I want to put Hit Monkey here or here? We're, we're definitely doing this. And then it's a matter of, am I putting Nico here and Hit Monkey here? Or am I putting Nico here and Hit Monkey here? I think this spreads my power the best. I think they have Magneto. Uh, Magneto doesn't do anything here, right? I'm winning all three. Minions to me. Regardless of where Dracula ended up at here. Victory. You can see here exactly. Pick your cards up, put them back down, move all around. Most difficult thing here, Chad, is remembering to keep pedaling while I go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Do 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 do.
If I had to pick one Marvel stamp card I was my favorite, what would it be? This one right here. He's the best around. No one's ever gonna bring her down. Well, that changes things. I was originally going to hit monkey these Falcon these back. But this lets me in theory at eight, nine over here, which I think just makes it the play. I lose to them dropping Loki here, though. So that is the problem. Yes, one of those kitties is mine. So the kitty is six. So we get up to eight, which is 14 here. Their Mockingbird currently costs two, so they can't play that here. It's just this, yeah. I guess, I guess I'm supposed to play for here actually because this path could die to Shang. If they like Shang Mockingbird here, they get me. So I should put my more stats to beat Mockingbird here where I'm not getting Shanged. Yeah, they're leaving. Yeah. This, is, this is the setup because Hitmonkey is Shangable. I'll take copy mode on Nico. Oh, 
vibe in. We vibe in. Victory. But I'm not happy with the locations, I suppose. Hitmonkey boosters. Oh, it doesn't show me the hitmonkey I'm actually splitting because of the custom card's the other one. I'm splitting a different variant than I'm playing the custom card on. I'm playing the custom card on this one because it's closest to Fool's Gold I have. Full to draw with Nico, I think, unfortunately. The OTAs actually aren't normally around 10 ish. Pa patches typically happen around 10 ish. Generally, generally speaking, OTAs happen around. Um, generally, generally speaking, OTAs go live around. Uh, Oh, what's the word I'm searching? I'm struggling to say. OTAs go live around like one to two, around the reset time. It would be nice if those were more consistent, but that's just the reality. They don't strictly coincide with the rollover, but that's just like how it happens to work out a lot. They discarded Hella here, by the way. I actually didn't realize what they discarded until we just buzzed over and I was mostly snapping because Hitmonkey and Kitty here is absurd. Speaking of absurd gamers, holy. Holy. Um. I want to bounce Nico in case she rolls the 2x mode. I think I'm going to be big enough here that I'm going to play the hood out for the demon. Yeah, 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 final answer. Hey, Bucky about to become a silverback, yep. Hopefully roll a 2x mode on Nico and then she goes absurd too. That's a piece of candy. It's extra plus here. Do I even want to compete on the left? I think I just don't, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this goes to 13, 16, 27, 33 over here. And then in the center, I'm just like some ungodly number. Yeah. What's the, what's the ungodly number in the center? So the collector gets two bigger from this, which makes him nine. And then Falcon makes him two bigger, bouncing these, which is 11. And then Hitmonkey is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 
Uh, so that's 29. And then this is 33. And then she copies the demo, which gives us another plus one, which is 34. So we're like 30-ish in both of these lanes. Forgot how fun this archetype is. We actually haven't drawn Elsa yet in like five games, so I don't know if she's good or not here, but the core of this deck is definitely solid. This means I'm not going to be able to collect her until later, but that's fine. I also messed up. I should have played this somewhere else. Because my bishop's going to end up here, and then I can't beast them efficiently. Mistakes were made. Big baby, big rank! 20 to 0. Are you okay? Are you okay? Astrid! Good game to you. Thanks for the gifted sub. It's very generous. It's a fantastic draw. Let's we go collector into Falcon next turn. Do I do this now? And then next turn I go Collector Falcon. Snap. I will need to draw Snow Guard, Kitty, or Bast on the right to not get sentried. Okay, but they didn't sentry this turn, so that's great. This might be wrong, but I also just kind of want to get value out of my Elsa. Are they also bouncing? I think they're also bouncing, Chet. Obviously a little bit different than us. No, maybe not. They're basting. Is this a mirror? I might be playing a mirror. Ah, oh, this is such a good turn. Is Havoc worth 3,000 collector token? Absolutely not. Not a snowball's chance at help. So resounding no. Super fun. My favorite card that I would never recommend anybody ever spend any amount of resources on. I think I just play hard for the left and the right here, yeah? Like this, this adds six over here up to 20. And my monkey is plus six, which is nine. I'm adding four, which is 19. Victory. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. So to, to count my numbers here, um, this is nine and this is 10, which is 19. 
and then I'm another 16. So I'm gonna end up at 35 here, and I'm gonna end up at 20 over here. Elsa, Elsa was pretty good that game, yeah. My Elsa ended up giving me one buff, two buff, three buff, four buff. She was a 311. That seems that seems fine. I think I think getting three to four triggers out of her consistently in a game is like the number you're looking for for her to be worthwhile. I don't know how often we're gonna get to four, but it felt good to get it there. Uh, people talking about Nico versus Astrid. I'm pretty sure Astrid M's move happens and then, or sorry, that Nico's move happens and then Astrid M happens. So I'm pretty sure you cannot use Nico to get three drops out of Astrid M. You'd have to fill, you have to fill Astrid M. We did finally get our gold Mysterio. He's glorious. What draws do I have that punish me for waiting to best? Exactly, Collector. And Hood, Kitty Pride, Mysterio, Hitmonkey all reward me for waiting to best, so I think I wait to best. The, on the only draw here that I'm annoyed that I didn't best on one is Collector, and I have a bunch of draws that make me happy that I bested on one, or happy that I waited. Beast is fairly neutral, all things considered. Uh, I, I think bar is bad for me and I'm going to get rid of it. I guess, I guess they don't know what we're playing yet. I think, I think bar is definitely better for Thanos than us. Thank you for the two months. I appreciate you re upping. Welcome back. Professor X on the left, but other than that, we're in a really good spot with them hitting Squirrel Girl, I think. Oh my god, they time stoned their Magneto. That's so gross. I don't want to play four cards because I don't want to get my Bishop shang chi So I can I can play one more card here and not get shang chi still. I'm trying to decide if it's Snow Guard or Kitty. I get Snow Guard. Yeah. 
Stoguard. Stoguard gives me the option to get into Tarnax without transforming. Next turn, reducing some variance. This is plus four here. And then another plus 12, so I'm gaining 16 here. Which could lose to a blob. Goliath middle chat they would have been at 13 and we would have been oh, I guess we would have been minus two right we would have been minus 14 they would have been 13 to 12 we would have lost to a lieth middle we would have lost to a lieth middle because the bishop wouldn't have triggered they could have a lieth right as well Ooh, yeah that's true Yeah, I wasn't I was so focused on them moving from here, I wasn't focused on them moving from here. It was, it was just a New York coin flip chat. I don't think they made a bad play. I think there's just not a lot of skill with a New York and Elioth. They're both pretty mid cards. Best? Best? Unlucky. Unlucky. Heck, we gotta go. Not gonna bother. We're about to, about to lose the game eventually. I think that average Patriot deck's gonna benefit from peak, and I'm not gonna let myself get caught into stand for more.
I been? I think we're by been. Ah, uh, maybe I'm playing this Dave Collector plus two. Worth it to grind more conquest tokens once you have enough to buy out the whole shop. Nah, it just turns into boosters. And Scotty, thank you for the 17 months. Welcome back. to get the plus one on the Nico, but then I don't get one less on the collector. I think I have to leave because they're going to low-key me. Many locations where I am happy to have a copy of Snowguard in my deck. Misfit Hero, thank you for the primer, appreciate it. Opponent snapped. Stan. Just to see how our output range feels into the destroy deck. I assume they're snapping because they have Beacon to Death's Domain, but the Snow Guard should let us slip in there and compete. Can I snap them back? I guess if they Modoc me, they have a bunch of swarms. Man. 
and it's close. I want to step it back. Uh, I'm gonna just let this play out naturally so maybe we get a full conclusion. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely curious to see how our, our output lane, range lines up into theirs. If this is Modoc, they finish here with priority, which is good for us too, because it means... Mmm. Nico, Nico spin here means that I can play hard for Death's Domain and play Hitmonkey. Yeah. Where do we think they're least likely to compete? They're least likely to compete here, yeah? And if they discard their whole hand, they go to six. They discard six, seven cards. This goes to nine. If they play Modoc in two, that's 14, 18. I guess this. Final answer. Oh, I have priority. Fuck. Fuck, I forgot we had priority. I needed the hit monkey in the middle. Damn it. Ah, oh, it's gonna cost me how to lose these fucking swarms. I ran out of time. Yep. Wait, they left swarms in their hand? Fuck you, bud. Ah, I win this game every time if I just have more time. It took too long. Damn it. Damn it! That sucks. My my read that they're not gonna play for Abby was correct. I should have I should have gone Nico here, Demon here, Demon Hit Monkey. I think. Hit Monkey left. Maybe maybe Hit Monkey left. It definitely, it definitely wasn't hit monkey here. This was this was bad. The the reason why I pivoted and then I ran out of time and I panicked a little bit is I should have. I counted Modoc plus two swarms was beating Nico here. Yeah, I, I really wish like the I I talk about wanting chess clocks in Marvel Snap a lot because it would punish people who slow roll everything, but they would also really benefit decks like this one where you can play quickly on turns one through five and then have a little bit of extra time on turn six when you actually needed to count out things like it feels it feels so bad from a player perspective to have played quickly the entire match and then need extra time on one turn and then not get it despite my opponent having taken way more time than me total in the entire game it's a really inequitable system that rewards people for griefing and doesn't let people who would bank their time play well. Yeah. All right, gamers, time for some adverts. We'll probably play some more of this one when we get back because it is a neat puzzle deck with lots of choices. I always, I always get to the end of games with this deck and frequently feel like we could have done something else that's better. The discard matchup's neat, even if I threw this one. Catch you. Catch you on the flip side of an ad break. Beer me.
All right, two minutes sprint on the bike, and then we uh, we stand up for a little bit. They could also, without Im implementing a chess clock, I think a really easy fix is turns one to three in Marvel staff right now are way too long, and turns five and six could both stand to be a scotch longer. And that's not even just for complicated decks like the bounce deck, I just think in general, you could probably shave 10 to 15% of the timer off of the first three turns and give, give 10 to 15% on the last turns. Thanks for egging up already. Best here because this is a clean lane to be beasting back potentially. Lots of enjoyers out there. Yeah, it's become something of a meme among a lot of the top ranked players. Hey, thanks for lurking today, Rex. Hope your work day is uneventful. Snap them. I don't think they have a way to get rid of the Nexus. Ordered okay spot. It could be that I'm supposed to put Falcon somewhere else to play around, absorbing me in. One, two, three. This will be nine. Then it'll be 10, 11. And then this will be plus four. 
I eat shit to Shang-Chi with this line. Is it just this? Then this is nine, and this is nine? myself here. Almost did something, almost. Uh, Snow Guard replacement. Your favorite other one energy card, but you're gonna have worse location variants without Snow Guard. And your limbo matchups get worse. Is the bot back? I think the bot is back, right? Is it live again? The only deck where Elsa really shines. I'm honestly not convinced Elsa shines in this deck. The jury is firmly out on. If she's good, better otherwise here. Your location gamer. How big was their kitty pride, Chet? Was she three or four? Anybody, anybody remember? A 
the Magneto plus Kitty Pride here. We assume she's four. They go to 21. My hit monkey is eight. This is still 10, 18. This beats Magneto, Kitty, Pride, left, which I think is their play. An incredibly weak stay. How do we get Xandar? Uh, Nico's uh, location reroll. Get out today, choosing to do some of your drops here at Hoglandia. My little Twitch tracker here oh, says that we've had almost a hundred new followers. For anybody that's new here and not familiar with myself, welcome. I'm Jeff Hoagland. I stream full time here on Twitch. Marvel Snap is my primary game of choice. You'll find me here Monday through Friday during the week from about 9 a.m. Central until about 3 or 4 p.m. Central in the afternoon, typically. I am Something of a relic here on the Twitch platform. I've been streaming for a little over a decade, doing it as a full-time job for over six years now. Before Marvel Snap released at the end of 22, I played a lot of uh, Magic the Gathering and other turn-based and strategy card games like Rune, Terra, and others. Since, since Snap released, though, it's definitely been my game of choice. I think Snap is phenomenal in a way that... Uh, no other new digital card game has been good in a pretty fairly long time. I don't think I want to put a third Hulk into here. I think we just count on two being enough. I want to overcommit in case they're a Shang deck. Ever play a turtle? I did play a turtle card game for a very little bit. What if I bear the time theater? So that way we draw another Nico next turn. Is that good? No, I kind of want to draw like a Mysterio or a Beast, yeah? It's probably not good. Don't call yourself a relic. I've been watching since the Moto days and it makes me feel older than necessary. <laughs> I wish I had beast so I could play the hit monkey out. Like I'm just spinning my tires here. Oh, we could hawk to keep them off of playing a six drop early. That's a really good thought. I like that. I like that line. Now we're now we're doing this though, yeah. Did I write articles for magic content? Yeah, for a long time I wrote uh weekly magic articles, gosh, for probably three or four years. And then when content started making full-time money, it just kinda no longer became worth the effort to write an article compared to putting that time into streaming.
They have two swarms and a mystery card. Yeah, this is all probably a lower collection level opponent. They're high ranked though. Can I compete over here is the question I have to ask myself. This is one, two, three, four. So this is 12. This is t plus 24 here. So they'd have to full soak to beat me, which they could realistically be doing. I guess it's fine. We lose to Infinite. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to play around that. If they go Swarm, Swarm, Injure, Infinite. We lose the Infinite in the middle, and I could have put Hitmonkey in the middle to beat that. Yeah, I, I fucked this up. We lose to Infinite. We deserve it. No, wait, I miscounted? Did I miscount? Oh, I forgot. I forgot the two from Beast to start. Oh, I was adding. I was counting 24 to 25 or 26. Okay, this is fine then. If we're if we're winning here, even through a full soak, this line is good. Victory. Yeah, yeah. And play, playing for here, if we're beating the full soak is good because it plays around something random like a Shang-Chi in their deck and their discard deck is playing some random cards. So Shang-Chi is definitely in the, in the output range. It feels weird to be have, have a ranked number this high this late into the season. There must be fewer people playing this season. Cause we're only we're only at 8,400 snap points. Usually we play a lot of conquest on this stream. I feel like I feel like by a couple of weeks that I'm usually closer to rank a thousand with this many points. I guess we I guess we've had mostly good runs on the days we've played though. This morning, untapped would not take forever to load. Anecdotally, Conquest queue times also long. So I think there was actually a bug the other day that was causing queue times to run longer than they were supposed to. There was some talk about it in the content creator discord. I can't imagine the amount of time these folks spend to get up to rank 10,000. Yeah. yeah we're, we're plus 30 cubes so far this morning with a record of 26 and 15 so far. First couple of decks we've played were kind of stinkers though. I had infinite running into bots almost every fourth match. So the amount of bots you see on your way to infinite is actually predictable. In the 70s, you get a bot every fourth match. In the 80s, you get a bot every fifth match. And in the 90s, you get a bot every seventh match. And you can get bots more frequently than that if there's like queue time issues and there's not people in your MMR to pair you into. But in in general, you get you hit about the number I just listed. That, that's, that's the four. Did our best, chat. It's really hoping to draw one drop here. Could do. I could do this. And then next turn, like Collector Falcon Demon. Think of it to that. Have you tried any other new games lately? Nah, I'm mostly an old game gamer. My uh, my off-stream games at the moment are uh, Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, and Witcher 3. And always, always intended to do a new game plus in Witcher 3, and I finally sat down the other day and was like, okay, I'm gonna fucking do this. And I am, it's lovely.
So this monkey is plus eight, which gets me to 10. And then the Mysterio is four. So that's 14, and then the hood adds one, so I'm adding 15 here up to 22. So I'm beating the vision moving left, and I'm beating the vision moving right, and I have them covered on a hulk in any singular location. We could lose to a combination of Abomination and other smaller things, but I think this is my line. Oh, I forgot about the Kun one. Are we still okay though? We're good, we're good because of the Elsa bonus. We get we get them by exact seeds, right? Unless this was shockered, in which case they're gonna soak one. Get to the teeth. Get to the teeth! Victory! We need it. We needed that uh I guess I guess we were good by two, technically. Because if we tied. If we tied, we were winning the breaker. How does MMR correlate to stat points? I never understood it. No, stat points are not your MMR. So, your MMR is an internal hidden number that's not visible on the front end to players. And as you win more, your MMR will go up. And as you lose, your MMR will go down but it doesn't go up and down proportionally to your snap points. The, the big thing MMR does is having higher MMR means you enter infinite with a higher starting amount of snap points. So like take someone like myself, for instance, I typically enter infinite somewhere between 8,100 and 8,300 snap points. Whereas like there's other people that enter like sub 7,000. Mace Blade, thanks for the 19 months. And where where exactly I enter in that 81 to 8300 depends on how much I played the previous season because your MMR does decay a little bit. So if you're not playing enough to bring it up, it'll pull down from where you were before. Yeah, your pre-infinite your pre -infinite games also impact your MMR as well. It's also, it's also important to understand that your... Games up to infinite are also impacted by your MMR. Um, not everybody has the same infinite climb. So like people like myself who have higher MMR, I queue into similar people on my way up to infinite as I will post infinite because there's MMR based matchmaking beforehand. Not, not everybody's experience in the 80s, 90s, 70s has the same player pool that it pulls from. And this is this is something that I really can't emphasize enough. Ladders in games like Marvel Snap are not a measure of how good you are at the game. If you are capable of getting to rank 80, in my opinion, you are capable of getting to infinite. You just haven't spent enough time to get there yet. The latter experience, 70s, 80s, and 90s, tends to be very, very similar in the year and a half that I've been playing. And ladders in these games are designed to encourage players to play the game more, not measure their skill in the game. Ladders, ladders in life's live service games like Marvel Snap are engagement drivers, not skill measurers. The buckle up in your title is ominous. Listen, chat, just keep your arms and legs and mind stones inside of the car at all times with your seatbelt firmly fastened and you should be okay through today's OTA update. Moro King, thank you for the 19 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Is it worth putting? Is it worth putting Mockingbird in this deck? I don't think so. That's why I'm not playing her.
Yeah. She had a copy of Beast to copy. Opponent snapped. What time is the OT? If only there was some mythical, magical way for me to communicate to you all at home when the OTA is going to happen. Alas, we'll probably never figure it out. Am I supposed to leave? I'm probably supposed to leave. If I'm staying, I need to draw a card because I need to draw a beast. So it's probably like this. We're up cubes. I'm gonna spew. I'm gonna spew one more here. There's a reality stone left. That would be great for me. Potentially, as long as it's not a bar with no name. Like, I think reality stone left is good for me on average. Okay, that makes drawing beast not relevant. And then next turn I can hit Monkey Mysterio Demon. Maybe they're gonna Professor X right. I think that's probably okay for us. So they already played their Shang-Chi and we kept priority, yeah? My monkey is nine, my demon is six. We could lose to a high roll out of the black vortex, but that have to be really high, yeah? Blob. I'm, ga I'm gaining 15 middle, and I'm already up four, so we beat an average blob. Oh, and the demon's more from Elsa. Yeah, I, I didn't count the Elsa bonuses either. Oh, I forgot it doesn't get the Elsa bonus because of that. Okay. Sorry about that, potentially. To me. The fuck out of my game, bud. Victory. All right. We cleared rank 250 at 8,400 stat points. I think it's time to put a pin. I like, I like to stop playing a deck when I'm feeling happy with it, rather than ending the session on a low note. So that was a, that was a pretty good run, I think. What we, where did we, where did we finish with bass bounce? I'm still not sure if Elsa is good in here. Every the other eleven cards of this deck, I am very confident they are good. I would not, I would not change the other eleven cards. Come on, dealer. Yeah, eleven and three. That's not bad. Had a six-zero start. Lost a couple in the middle. What'd you play that Elsa if you were playing Elsa? I, ge I genuinely don't know. It's it's probably another one energy grower or a tech card. In the in the previous build of this deck, 
Uh, I had armor in this slot because destroy was more popular then. Like, I think if I wasn't going to play Elsa, it would be either Hawkeye or destroy. Or sorry, Hawkeye or armor. I think either of those would be good. I don't think, I don't think you need Angela. I think, I think I'd, I think I'd be inclined to play a tech card or another one. Yeah, Goose, Goose would be a fine shout too. I want, I want something that either, either, either another card that scales or, uh, no, I think Ham's really bad right now because there's a lot of Mobius in the format. Goose, Goose Armor, Goose Armor Hawkeye, I think would be my top three. Although obviously my Hawkeye is unplayable because he's inked and not gold. So he's, uh, that, that one's, that one's out. I would, I would play Armor or Goose because this is, this card's unplayable. <laughs> 